aquí en Alto 060 y vamos a hablar ahora con Steve Clapper de la compañía Night Vision que nos habla de una tecnología muy importante para la seguridad en el auto. Here with Stuart, a near auto show uh, and he's behind one of the companies that give us a lot of safety in the cars including seeing during the night very far away right? That's right, we make night vision systems for cars. Our company AutoLeave is the largest safety supplier in the world. We make airbags and seatbelts so it's really in our heritage to provide safety for drivers. Yeah. And um, now you develop, you have developed a system that can uh, identify animals. How, can you explain how that is? Yeah, what we have is a, a camera mounted in the front of the vehicle, typically in the grill section of the vehicle. The reality is in the Ford Circle, right? Yes, it's in the, in the circles and okay. the rings of the Audi. And the camera looks for very small temperature differences on the, on the road ahead. So it can detect uh, the difference between uh, basically a tenth of a degree difference is in, wow. uh, on the road. So you can tell very clearly if there's an animal or a pedestrian on the road uh, well ahead of your headlights, something like two or three times your headlight range. Yeah, and there are different systems because other companies have developed the same systems, but yours is more precise. I mean, one tenth of a, a degree of, de of a temperature is it's very, very precise. It is, it is. And that's what makes us uh, unique. Uh, we've developed the, the uh, smallest, uh, cheapest, and most, uh, the best well, performing. Let's call it less expensive. <laughs> less is, okay, you're right. Less expensive. Um, far infrared camera in the world. We make more far infrared cameras than any other company in the world. And we put them in a lot of cars. And that coupled with our ECU, which has, is basically the brains of the system, we're able to look for uh, animals uh, that are crossing. The animals are tough to find because yeah. they're so unpredictable. And, uh, well, pedestrian can be unpredictable, even more than animals sometimes. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> but this, is a, this new product is a development from the original one where you started developing, I mean, identifying humans, right? Right. Back in 2009 model year, we introduced on uh, BMW the very first uh, pedestrian detection system. And what that does is it sees a pedestrian on the road. It's it's tracking the pedestrian to see if they're in the path of the vehicle. If they are in the path of the vehicle, it does alert the driver and lets them know that they need to do some, take some action. And, and the system looks for the structure of the body, right? If I understand correctly, so it's looking in a human being like a head, arms and legs. But in the animal, it's looking at the structure, four legs, a head like high up and something like that. Right, and you can imagine the animals are different sizes and different yeah. shapes. Sometimes they're very large, like a moose, and sometimes you have a much smaller elk or, uh, or even a dog or a cat that has yeah. typically four, four legs, and they, and they act a certain way. But if they're looking at, uh, if you're looking at the profile or you're looking side view of the uh, animal, it's, it's possible to always look different. So it took a lot of a training of our algorithms to be able to detect them very confidently. And uh, currently, so this new product is in what car now? Yeah, uh, well today we offer night vision with pedestrian detection on BMWs, Audis, Rolls Royce. And uh, later this year, we're gonna introduce our next generation system, a third generation system, which will include uh, the animal detection function and that will be uh, available on all those vehicles plus uh, Mercedes will yeah. introduce later. And um, we're talking about the price of the of the cost of the of this kind of technology, but the cost of an accident in that is pretty it's pretty high, right? It is. So you know, think about it. if you hit a pedestrian, you're gonna spend the next couple of years of your life in yeah. court. Uh, you're gonna have emotional damage. You, there's all yeah. kinds of things that are gonna hurt you. And so you never want to hit a pedestrian. And this system will actually help you prevent that from exactly. happening. And but an animal is is, is also a, a traumatic event because if you hit an animal, there are deaths that occurs probably a few hundred deaths every year yeah. from people hitting deer. But there's maybe 30, 40,000 injuries that occur, plus the damage of the vehicle. There's something like 1.1 million deer vehicle accidents every year, which costs uh, the U.S. markets or insurance companies about $3.5 billion. Wow, that's so that's, that's, a, that's a lot of money and a lot of uh, emotional damage. Because also, I mean, when you like, the bigger the animal, the bigger the, the, 
feeling. But even when you like hit like a scroll or something, it's not a good feeling. So eventually, I guess these systems are gonna keep evolving, and I can detect even even smaller animals, right? Yeah, and like I said, it wasn't really designed for smaller animals. But typically, if it, it has a, the, the shape and the running, and yeah. jumping, and has legs. A lot of times it doesn't. But if you develop like, what, even, rabbit, even rabbits, we we can able to. Yeah. Take. If you develop this from 2009 to this now, I'm sure you go, your company is gonna go ahead and do that. So thank you very much for your time and uh, congratulations on that nice product and uh, people should like take that option when they go to the dealership because it can save you a lot of money, a lot of uh, headache and a lot of uh, problems down the road, right? Yes. Thanks, Javier. Thank you very much. Very much. Bye. Y ahora la última entrevista de auto que no estuvo en Nueva York, el Spiker, pero que tiene noticias muy interesantes de para compartir. Victor Mueller de Spiker Cars. So here at the auto show with Victor Mueller from Spiker Cars. Uh, I don't see a car here, but uh, your cars are fantastic. Uh, why, why, why don't see a car here? Well, thank you very much, Javier, for uh, for that. Um, we usually uh, go to the New York auto show, but uh, we've come from a very tough time where um, we suffered tremendously because of the demise of Saab. Uh, we overcame that in 2012 and we launched a brand new car at Geneva uh, uh, three weeks ago yeah. as part of what we call the global resurgence of the brand. And um, part of that is, uh, of course, launching a new product, but it was uh, just a very, very short time between yeah, Geneva and here. And it's going to take the better part of a year and three months before the car will be US certified. So uh, bringing it here now will be slightly too early, but we will bring um, the uh, Venator, as it's called, the V6 Venator, and its uh, open version, the uh, V6 Venator Spider, to Pebble Beach in August. Okay. And in any case, Spider is a very special car. So, I mean, it really deserves like a special place like a concourse in any hotel, which is like perfect, I guess, for that. It's a natural setting. For people who don't know about a lot about Spider, explain the, the what it is because it's like you order your car, right? It's yeah, like yeah, you're correct that because it takes like nine months to make it, right? Yeah, it is. A, it, it is a bit, well, it's more like an elephant. It's more like twelve months. <laughs> Um, but um, no, Spiker is a very old brand. It actually started in 1875 as a coach builder, a very high-end coach builder yeah. for horse-drawn cars and coaches. And then in 1898, they started manufacturing cars, very beautiful high-end cars. They were main supplier to the Dutch royal family, and they were also extremely advanced in terms of engineering. They are first in 1903 to build a four-wheel drive car, a six-cylinder yeah. engine car. And uh, they made, between 1914 and 1918, they made uh, extraordinary uh, hunter fighter aircraft. And in Holland, they're called hunters. Okay. And um, actually, that is the one. That's why the logo is uh, a propeller. A propeller yeah. Yeah. Okay. And actually, in the logo, it says Nulla Tanazi in VSVM. For the tenacious, no road is impossible. So Latin is very much into embedded yeah. into our brand. And as a result, we call the new car Vanator, which means hunter okay. in Latin. Oh, that's good. Yeah. And, um, then the spiker cars that take 12 months to make and um easy it's, 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 and it's, it's like a piece of jewelry and then the, the one that i've seen lately is that every little aspect of it is like so much detail into it and obviously the highest quality of everything right i would say that uh, we're very known for our bespoke interiors we pay a lot of attention to detail because this is what our customer wants right we're making cars for people that have everything but want something else yeah. we're fed up with being at traffic light and having three Porsches to the left and two Ferraris to the right and they're in the middle with their ass and and they think, you know, um, there must be something else and there is, the yeah. like the Spiker you can have a very bespoke car and you'll never find another one after that part and uh, it's very interesting that so the ultra luxury market and all those cars are Lamborghinis, Ferraris sold before they're made Boom. What, where, where, where's the recession? <laughs> well, there is no recession. Uh, in our industry, of course, we've seen a very tough patch in yeah. 2008, 2009. 2010 wasn't very good, but 2011 was already starting to pick up. 2012 is great. Um, and it's looking like that's going to continue because where in the 80s and 90s the market for a super sports car was America and Europe, yeah. now, now we see China, China and America, and Russia. Our number one market is China, believe it or not. Uh, the Middle East, of course, is very huge. But also Brazil and India and Russia yeah. are taking their share. So where Europe was always the number one market, now with us it's the number five market. Wow. Incredible. Well, thank you very much for your time here in New York, and uh, hopefully we'll see you in Pablo Beach in August. Thank you so much. Thank you, Victor. Y esta ha sido la edición especial del Auto Show Nueva York 2012. Gracias a DJ Kappa y unos controles por la ayuda con la producción del show. Y los espero próximamente en la siguiente edición de Auto 060.
Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.